Hi everybody. So we're going to make a series of videos on focusing with an automatic focuser. This is something I should have done when I first purchased mine, but I didn't. So in this first video, I'm going to make a focus graph similar to what your camera software program would do in its automatic focus routine. But we're going to do it manually with the automatic focuser. You've probably seen these graphs before where they go down like this and up like that and the low point that's where your critical focus is. So I wanted to do it by hand. I thought it was important to do that so so you know what's going on and you know how the automatic focuser behaves. My name is Kurt Zepatello and you're watching AstroQuest 1. Okay, so we want to make a graph by hand, so a focus graph. And so you're going to measure either the half flux radius or the half flux diameter, or you can measure the full width half maximum. That's the FWHM. These two things are related. One measures the radius, one measures the diameter. The diameter is twice the radius. They, they say it's better to use HFR or HFD when you're doing the automatic focusers. So whenever, you know, I'm going to just use that. I'm not going to argue with a they. Before I get started, I really want to mention the, this guy, Queev, the lazy geek in Japan. He has been really helping me out quite a bit with this focus business, which, as I said, I've been really, really working with focusing over these last couple of weeks. And he uses Nina, and I, I actually use that a little bit too. And I'll, I'll get into all that stuff in later videos. Right now, I just want to do the manual focus. And what you're going to do with this manual focus, you're going to make, make a graph, actually. You may have seen these or may not have seen these, where you just measure the focuser reading with the HFR reading and when it comes down to a minimum that's where your focus is really right here is your critical focus it's this little range and right here would be perfect okay so that's what we're going to make we're going to make a graph sort of like that by hand so let me close all this and let me do astrophotography tool and one thing you got to do is you got to have your have your astrophotography tool, the camera set at the one-to-one. -one. That's the best. And we're going to have it take a picture. Oops, not on live view. I'm sorry. Take a Exposure picture. started. Okay. Exposure finished. All right. And we're going to go to tools, focus aid, and we'll go on this star over here. And it's reading this star at... 1.17. All right, then what you want to do is you want to go even more out of focus. It already looks okay right now. 1.17. So we're going to go out of focus a little bit. Go back over here to gear, and here's my focuser. And I've got my step size set at 40 right now. So I'm going to go, let's actually go out to 100. And we'll go away about 100. Right, and then we'll do a, uh, do a shot. Exposure started. Exposure finished. Okay, good. It got nice and bad. That's what we want. We want nice and bad. So now I'm going to record these values. This is going to be our starting material. So the focuser reading right now is 10.0210. All we need is the last three digits. We don't really need these other things. The the first part. And then our FHD value is 1.85. What we're going to do is I'm going to lower it to 40. Okay. And I'm going to go this way, the, the other way. So here it goes. And now my focuser is now reading 340. And let's see what the... Exposure started. Exposure finished. It really didn't change too much, did it? It went down from 1.87 to 1.73. That's 
not much. And there's a reason for that. And I know what it is now. All right, let's do it again. So now we're at 380. And let's see what the exposure started. HFD is. Exposure finished. Yeah, 1.2. Now we had some movement. 0.27. So we went about 80 steps now. Now we'll do it again. Now we're at 420. And we're going to shoot. Exposure started. Exposure finished. Now we're at 1.10, it says. We'll do it again. Now we're at 460. And we'll do it. Exposure started. Exposure finished. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. 0.63. All right. Well, let's continue. Exposure started. And we're at uh, 500 now. Exposure finished. 0.69. I believe we're in the critical focus region now that I was talking about. We'll do it again. 40. And we'll do shoot. Exposure started. Exposure finished. Ooh, 0.56. Ooh, God, this is good. All right, continue with that. We're at 580. Take a shot. Exposure started. Exposure finished. All right, now we're going back up again. Okay, we'll do it one more time. This we satisfied our curiosity here. Exposure started. Exposure good. finished. Yeah, not too bad. 0.62 still. Yeah, maybe I spoke too soon here, huh? Well, we'll do it one more time. 660. Exposure started. Exposure finished. Yeah, now it's bad. Okay. 1.26. Hey, want to do one more? Let's see. Exposure started. Exposure finished. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it even looks a lot worse. It's 130, but I think it's even worse than that. Okay, I'm going to plot this thing and see what it looks like. So I'm going to pause you guys. Okay, well, here's what the data supported, or, or here's what the data indicated. So it looks like a nice little uh, graph that I made. And so I, I would recommend doing this by hand, like I just did. Uh, even before you use anybody's automatic focus routine, so you really know what's going on. Now, right at the beginning, when I first started, when well, actually it was over here, uh, it was it's it, it, the first the first value. I didn't even put that in there. But the reason it didn't go uh, down uh, when I first did it, that was because I have backlash, and I'm going to get into backlash in the second video. So I hope you've enjoyed this first video on focusing and we'll see you for the next one.